Well, it is tax season. You don't have to be a personal finance expert to do your own taxes. In fact, do-it-yourselfers can save by not paying a professional. But the bad news is if you mess up your return or forget to claim credits and benefits, you could actually lose out on some cold, hard cash. So we've asked personal finance expert and best-selling author Leslie Ann Scorgi to stop by to give us a quick rundown on when DIYing your tax return makes sense and when it does not. I was saying to you, I just don't. Yeah, and I think for a lot of people, um, looking at their tax forms is like looking at hieroglyphics. Yeah. They're not comfortable with it. And if you are unclear about how to file your taxes or you don't have time, you really want to choose an expert. If you go the DIY route, though, make sure that you're paying approximately $50 or less for your software. Right. But if you're a small business owner, you may have to pay about $100. Make sure you are very organized and have all of your forms and that you're comfortable with it. But for most, they're not. And right. so here's a couple scenarios where you should really rely on the experts. Okay. Let's say something has changed dramatically in your financial situation. Right. You won the lottery, you filed for a bankruptcy, um, or you were gifted a large amount of money. You should definitely get an expert. Let's say something in your life changed. You got married, you got divorced, maybe you had a child, or somebody died. Right. Those are some situations where you're also going to need the help of an expert. If you're not comfortable again, or if you're not if you don't have the time or if you're really behind on your taxes, which a lot of people mm -hmm. are, you do need to, to get a hand in that department. Okay, so mm -hmm. those so major life events, um, if you're not sure how to do it yourself, feel unclear, mm -hmm. those are two instances. Uh, multiple streams of income you might want to consult with Absolutely, so there's a lot of small business owners out there and there's also people that don't own a small business but maybe they have income properties mm -hmm. or that they do uh, some consulting on the side or some freelance work. Whenever you have multiple sources of income, your tax situation becomes a little bit more complicated. Right. And when you're looking for an expert, you want to ensure that they understand or are skilled in that area. So if they are skilled in small business and you're a small business owner, if they're just skilled in, let's say, personal tax filing, mm -hmm. you may want to choose another person. But it's really up to you. Get a referral from a friend or a family member before you commit and make sure that you can pay them. Now, for most people, they get a return yeah. back. So paying your accountant or your tax advisor is not a big deal. Mm -hmm. But you can always negotiate that fee. So don't be afraid to ask. Okay, so mm -hmm. it's not hard and fast. So is this the best way, is word of mouth for, you know, to your mind, the, the best way to yeah, serve somebody? Yeah, I do believe that uh, referrals are, are truly the best way, but uh, most people also have the option of going with a company like an H&R Block, right. which will cost you, uh, you know, less than $100, mm -hmm. or you can go with a professional tax accountant, which is kind of on the opposite end and does cost a couple hundred dollars to file that return. But right. again, you want to do it right, if you miss something, you can miss out on getting a lot of money back or paying less in your taxes. And things change every year, right? There are there are things that have changed from, from last calendar year to this calendar year, for instance. Absolutely. Um, you know, the family tax right. credit, for example, a lot of families are able to access that tax credit and it changes year to year depending on what's happening and what's uh, relevant for families. And so that would be a tax credit that you would want to explore with a tax mm -hmm. professional to make sure that you're maximizing every opportunity to save. Why leave money on the table? You just you just shouldn't do it. 100%. Okay, yeah. before we let you go, um, if you're going to go to a professional, what do you need to compile? What do you need to have in order? So make sure that you do, just get an old school file folder. Right. So anything that arrives in the mail that has, uh, you know, a T4, or T3, any tax related form. Put it in your file folder and bring that with you to the accountant. What you need to know is that if a tax form has been issued to you, the government knows about it. Right. And they also know <laughs> if it's missing right. from your stack. So right. um, easy way to do it is look back at your previous tax forms and reconcile what you've currently received mm -hmm. and if you've got some things that are missing just call the place that issued the tax form before to right. get a replacement copy okay so have mm -hmm. all your ducks in a row grab that file folder bring it to a professional that's yeah. the way that I do it because I don't <laughs> trust myself uh, let's see and Scorgy how do people find you you can check out my website, lesliescorgi.com, or on Twitter, at lesliescorgi. Okay, links and information, as always, breakfasttelevision.ca. Happy tax season to you. Lovely to Thank see you. you.